Hi, Lucy. This is Papa. Um, I got this webcam so that I could uh, talk to you and see how you're doing, and pretty much just just kind of you know talk and see what's going on. So um, I bought you some gifts today. First was this cam. Um, I created this blog so that every day I could talk to you and you could see me and you could see that I'm still around. So I got gifts. Let me start over. I got you some gifts today because um, I've been kind of just lonely after three days of not having you around. So I got some of the gifts. So I got these cool things. So each day I'm going to draw you a picture or color in a picture and then show you what I colored so you could see me coloring. So the first thing I bought you was this book, the little Hello Kitty coloring and activity book. It has, you know, little cool things in it that I could show you and I bought some crayons so I could color for you and then I bought you this sticker Facebook that has uh, little stickers in it and you can like put them on animals like a duck, you can give them a face and you can hang out with them you know and all that stuff and then I got you another Hello Kitty coloring book for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in a few pages for you so you can kind of see it and then when uh, mom comes and gets her things um, she can take these and I'll have started them and then you can go go along so um, it's been three days um, I just been kind of hanging out in the house um, I want to tell you that I miss you a lot and I want to tell you that I love you so very much and that I'm still here and that I'm always around and I know what it's like to not have a father when I was growing up and that's not me, I'm right here hanging out waiting for you to come home I don't know when that'll be um, but I decided every day I'm gonna just post something positive so that you can see me and so that we can talk and that you don't forget what I look like or you don't forget my voice so I'm gonna do something positive so I'm gonna go get a book to read. Hold on. So, I'm back. What I have is I got these four books I know are one of your favorite books. And I decided every day, no matter what, how bad it gets or how lonely I get, I'm going to read a book to you and then when you get these books back you can read and follow along with me just like if I was right here next to you so the first book I'm gonna read for you is Baby Loves Spring Baby Loves Spring so let's start reading the book it's springtime what will baby see so let me get used to this camera so you can kind of see it. So you can see there, hold on, let me get used to this camera too. I gotta kind of figure this bad, this bad boy out. But you can see there that there's some chickens or some birds up here. You used to have the, the flap there and it would flip, but you tore off that flap. So now it's not there. So we'll just pretend and go, boop. Baby sees some birds, little baby birds are right there. So let's turn that page. What is squiggling in the dirt? And you can see there that you also tore off the flap there, so let's pretend like it's not there. And you can see, boo, that's a bunch of worms. Look at there's a bunch of worms there in the dirt there. And there's a small girl just like you, and she's, what is squiggling in the dirt? And look what she finds. A bunch of little worms there in the dirt, just like in the garden. In the garden, we have these too. Those worms, they, they help the garden. They help for air filtration and stuff. So... Oh, hold on, did I skip a page? Yes. What's fluttering behind the bush? And it's a bunch of butterflies. Look at purple butterfly, orange butterfly, green butterfly, kind of like a yellowish butterfly, and then like a reddish, purplish kind of butterfly there. But these are all different butterflies fluttering behind a bush that used to be there. So look at that. Now it's raining, and there's a little girl there, just like you, see? She's your size, playing in the rain. So, 
There's the rain. Uh oh. And then splash, splish, splash. What's in the puddle? And you can see that there's raining there, and there's a little girl there, and then you can see that there's a bunch of frogs there. See the little frogs playing? Little frogs playing, little frogs playing in the puddle. And then what could be oh this this one's actually there. This one's actually there, Batsy. What could be behind this gate? Then you look, little Batsy, see, you pull back. Look, it's a beautiful garden. It's a on happy spring baby. So you can see like the frogs and the butterflies and the birds and the little rainbow and then the little worms there and more stuff and that's everything she discovered in the garden there. See it? All this stuff there. And there's this little girl there. And see? That's the end of this book. Baby Loves Spring. So I, ho I hope you like it. And I hope that I read slow enough for you. Um, tomorrow's book, I'm going to have to practice for. I'm going to spend some time tonight trying to practice for it. So you got to kind of give me a little bit of slack. But it's going to be, oh, I can't even say this, Fro, Fro a stern, klein, has, hasen, hasen. So I'm going to study it tonight and then um, try to read it to you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to read as many books to you as I possibly can before I know that you need them, you, you actually should have them now. But I'm going to try to read all I can to you over the next days so that when these are there with you, wherever you're at, that you'll have these books and we can read them together. So, other than that, what else I'm going to do is tonight, I'm going to start on my first coloring project. So, I'm going to color tonight, and then I'm going to take a picture of it and post it online for you so you can see it and then I'll also show you how I colored it with this little color set that I just bought. See? Little crayons. So, um, as you can see I'm here at home. It's been three days. Um, I want to end my first video blog too telling you that I love you and that I miss you a lot and that I wish you were here and the house is really lonely without you, honey. It's really lonely. But I'm not going to end this on a sad note. I'm going to be positive. Um, um, I'm glad you're in my life. And I'm glad you're my daughter. And I think about you so very much. And know that Papa loves you. And that I'm going to do everything I can to see you again soon. I'm going to exhaust every avenue possible. And I'm going to do everything to see you again. I love you, Lucy. I love you so much. And, uh, hold on, watch, watch. For the past three days, this has been my pillow. I've been sleeping on it. I've been using it at night as a pillow. I haven't gotten to the pool yet. But I've been using it as a pillow at night. Kind of awkward, kind of weird, but it smells just like you. And I had some of your blankets in the room too, so I wish you had something more of mine that I could share. So I hope that this blog does the trick and that you see that I didn't abandon you. And I'll never abandon you and I'll never give up on seeing you. So I love you, Daddy. And I will see you soon. And um, I'll probably up tonight, so you'll get my day four recording probably early tonight, but I'm going to record you, or record me every day, every day I'm going to record me until I see you again, and even after, until you're back home with me. I love you, Lucy. Mwah. Ciao, honey.